Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from LearnHyperInvestment.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about a very frequently faced exception called illegal estate exception. Okay, so sometimes when you see the console log, you can easily understand that something went wrong, the driver path is missing, or the path is incorrect. You can fix it. But sometimes even the driver path is correct, you will still get this illegal estate exception. And it's not only to specific browsers. So you might get this uh, exception with Chrome, Firefox, Edge, and other browsers as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you in this video how you can fix this, what is the root cause, so it will help you to get started, okay? Even if you're a beginner, that definitely is going to help you a lot because it's very frustrating when you're writing your first script, everything is set up, your Selenium is configured, you have downloaded the browser, but it's not launching, okay? So it can be very time consuming sometime and it can be very frustrating. But even if you are not a beginner, let's say you are advanced guy, you already know the basic, I would still recommend you to watch this video because it can help you to you know train your students or your colleagues or friends who are just getting started so until you don't know the root cause you will not be able to fix it so let me show you uh, it's going to be a very quick video but very interesting so let's get started so just to demonstrate this particular exception i already have a project ready as you can see i already have one maven project and i have selenium dependencies already available okay so this is the statement which is actually uh, setting the, the path which is for the chrome driver and if you see this location c drive batch recording i already have chrome driver.exe at this particular location right so we are setting up this property webdriver.chrome.driver which is only for chrome for firefox it is webdriver.gecko.driver for edge it is webdriver.edge.driver and we are starting chrome driver we are starting google.com and now if i just say driver.quit it should work right but here Many times, if you're setting the Chrome driver or any other driver in this way, you will end up getting illegal state exception. Okay. So first, let me run this. Then I will show you uh, the different ways that when do you get this exception and how you can fix it. So I have executed this program right now. And this is just a very basic four steps. So it should quickly start the browser and the application that you have mentioned. In our case, it's google.com. As you can see, now the session is running it will open google and it will close okay so let's try to uh, get that exception so purposefully i will make some changes and let's see how it works so instead of small w i will make it capital w and let me run this okay ideally it should be webdriver.chrome.driver so basically if you give any other key okay and it's case sensitive you try to make some changes it will not recognize and you will end up getting the same illegal state exception and it says clearly that you have to set the property using webdriver.chrome.driver and if you are wondering we are using the same but it's case sensitive that is the first thing that you need to keep in mind all this in small case you might make mistake uh, sometimes you don't give the extension okay so if you just give chrome driver and if you think okay chrome driver is already available but the moment you try to run this you'll still get the same exception because this time it is not able to understand the extension and you will get the same exception illegal estate exception and it says driver executable must exist it is actually looking the same path but since that exe is missing it is not able to find okay so if you make chrome driver.exe then it will work in case if you are making some path issue as well it will end up giving the same exception okay so if this time instead of chrome driver i will make chrome driver 1.exe and same exception just open the console okay so i hope you got the point so first thing make sure everything is in a small case second thing you need to make sure that you get a proper path third thing you should not miss this extension now if you don't want to do all this we also have something called webdriver manager right so with the help of webdriver manager you can fix this you don't have to uh, manually download this driver and set this path so if you're completely new to webdriver manager then you can see i have recorded one video on webdriver manager where i have explained what exactly is webdriver manager how you can configure it so i will try to use this webdriver manager dot chrome driver and dot setup so what happens in this case even if you don't do this now because here you might make mistake in set properties or the path but webdriver manager will automatically 
download the latest driver based on which browser version we are using and it will also set the path so you don't have to worry about it just use webdriver manager dot chrome driver dot setup this is for chrome but in case if you're using firefox edge browser you can just say webdriver manager dot edge driver dot setup and uh, for this webdriver manager you just need to use one dependency so as you can see in my project i have one webdriver manager dependency and at the time of recording i'm using 5.1.0 so let's do one thing let's run this and this time we are not getting the driver from the local uh, actually we are not setting the path it is taken care by web driver manager and here we go it says starting chrome driver and this time it will load the application do some activity based on your test and it will say driver.quit perfect yeah. So that's a very quick video, but yeah, for the beginners, it's important to understand what went wrong with your code. So if this video helped you, then do support this channel, share with your friends, colleague, and subscribe to this channel. And if you're looking for any other videos, let me know in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.